Hello guys, I'm so excited that you have come to join us for the next few weeks of our Real Kids Online. You know, it's a really exciting day because we are kicking off a brand new series for the next few weeks. And we're participating in something that our whole church is doing all the way up to your mum and dad, or maybe even grandma and grandpa. And it is called Mission Month. And this is when we partner with a ministry called Global Interaction. Now, Global Interaction is an incredible ministry and a big part of their job is to send people and support people all over the world as they go and share Jesus and the Bible with others. You know, sometimes we hear the word mission and we think that it's this thing that we can only do if we're going to another country or going to another place. But over the next month, we're going to explore and learn a little bit more about what it means to participate in mission, in God's mission, right where we are. You know, over the next few weeks, we're going to be reminded that you matter to God no matter where you are. We matter to God here in Croydon Hills. Our friends matter to God over in Burma. Our friends matter to God wherever they are in the world. Isn't that a great thing to be reminded of? We're gonna kick off this week and we're going to need our Bibles. So if you can go and grab them, I would love it if you would read along with me. Today, the passage that we're reading about comes from the book of Mark, which is in the New Testament. So you can start to find that now in your Bibles. And we're going to be reading from chapter 12, verses 41 to 44. So I'm gonna read that in just a second with you. You see, today we are learning that how we choose to love and follow Jesus is what makes us special. Let's read together from Mark chapter 12, verse 41 to 44. And it says this, Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts of money But a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins, worth only a few cents. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, the poor widow has put more in the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she gave out of her poverty. Put in everything all she had to live on. You see, this is a really incredible passage and and it can remind us of something really important. You see, the widow that Jesus is talking about, she loved Jesus. She loved Jesus with her whole heart. And that's actually what makes her offering even more special. You see, it tells us that she gave into the treasury all that she had, even though it was only too small copper coins worth only a few cents. You know, Jesus helps us understand how important this is because he points out to us that there were all of these rich men giving this big offering and, you know, making sure people knew how much they were giving. But they had plenty. And even when they gave a lot to Jesus, a lot to the offering, it didn't really cost them anything. Whereas this poor widow who loved Jesus so very much gave all that she had, all that she had because she loved Jesus. And Jesus tells us that this is actually the more special offering. You see, the reason for this is because that the woman gave and she gave generously. She gave generously because she loved Jesus. You know, if you think about it, for you and and maybe me, maybe we don't actually have lots of money to give like the rich men, but that doesn't mean that we cannot give a beautiful offering to Jesus like the widow did in this passage that we've read together this morning. You see, the thing that was most important about this is her heart, and that's what Jesus sees. She gave obediently and she gave generously because of her love for Jesus. And that can be the same for you and for me. You know, maybe we don't have money to give and that's okay. But maybe we can give of our time. 
Maybe we can give of our relationships. Maybe we can do something for someone this week. Maybe we can encourage people. Maybe we can help out mum and dad around the house. There are so many ways that we can give and offer back to God because of how much we love Him. I wonder if you can take a moment and think about what that thing might be for you this week. How can we learn from the generous widow and take that into our weeks that come? I would love to hear about what you guys do and and don't forget to check out our website because there are some great ways and crafts and activities that you can do to help remind us that it's how we love Jesus that makes us special. I'd love to hear from you guys soon. 